Howdy folks, howdy, Sean Brock here with you. Hey, please subscribe if you don't mind. I go through a lot of trouble for some of you people, you know that. So the other day we did a comparison between XS uh, 17s, the Foster Bronze, and the, equi the uh, Elixir equivalents uh, in the medium gauge. And right when I was doing this, a uh, something I've wanted to see happen for over a year happened, and that was Diadario introduced the XS 8020s. So I even got those, and I have held off this long because I didn't want to change strings on my guitar four times in one day. So I love you, but I don't love you that much. And uh, today we're going to take a listen to these. I just perused YouTube, and sadly and oddly enough, no one has even reviewed these 8020s yet. So let's see what they sound like compared to the Phosphor Bronze. And in case you missed the Elixir video, uh, we are assured that some GOM will make an appearance and talk about how we shouldn't use coded strings. And, and again, that's a southern term, a southern word, GOM. And I like to give illustrations to help you with your speech. Let's see. Okay, well, if you're sitting at the traffic light and the guy in front of you, you have to honk at him to get him to go because he's sitting there with his cell phone up there at the traffic light. And you, you honk at him, and then he goes, and then he picks that phone up, and he's cutting this way and that. That, that person is a GOM. Uh, GOM can also be a situation. For example, if you don't pay your taxes and you get audited by the IRS, you are in a GOM. So some GOM is liable to show up and tell us how we should... Jesus, uh, guys, this is just a bend and just cool the strings. Nonetheless, here we go, okay? Uh... We're going to do the phosphor bronze, okay? We're going, to, we're going to do all these clips like we did them before, edit them together. We'll do phosphor bronze first, 80, 20 second. And starting with the phosphors, we'll do open and we'll do a couple very basic things just to hear the strings. So here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, well, there you have it. I don't know um, if you have learned anything. I guess I'll keep my opinions to myself. Um, I don't know. Uh, there's, you know, this this guitar, this is my, my Jimmy Edmonds signature model D18. And we've tried all four sets, or the uh, XS phosphors and elixirs and now we've tried the excess phosphors versus the 8020 excess and no I will not at this time I don't plan to do an 8020 excess versus an 8020 elixir somebody else can do that um, I've got my own opinion I waited um, almost a year and a half and well, I don't know. Um, there you have it. I mean, if you want them, they're out there, and you can uh, you can get them just about anywhere now. I guess you can whistle up Amazon, get them on Prime, and everything. Uh, they the eighty twenty was released with very little fanfare uh, or notice from Diodario. You know, I, I got m emails for months and months, it seemed like, when the Elixir Phosphor Bronze were coming on the market back last year. And uh, this year, it was just, uh, they were supposed to have been out in the spring originally, and then uh, a rep over there told me, no, it's going to be this winter when they come out. And then there you have it, boom, they're out, uh, and here they are. Uh, as far as any kind of feeling differences, our, our friend Bill Diedrich reported on his findings. I want, to, I want to say that he said these were 175 pounds of tension, and the uh, phosphors, I want to say I could stand corrected, that he said those were 185 pounds. So you would expect a little bit, just slightly slinkier feel. Uh, maybe just a little more uh, ease in the left hand. And it seems like that is there. Um, you know, it's not an overabundance or something like you're going from mediums to lights or something. But there is a little uh, ease of right away there. Um, I will say that uh, when I first started using the Phosphor Bronze in March of 2021, I felt like I put them on and they just sounded like they didn't sound very good necessarily until the uh, next day. It seemed like it took them a few hours to get into their prime. Now that could have just been me, I don't know, because I don't notice that out of the Phosphor Bronze these days. When I put on a set, I feel like they sound just fine. Um, and these 8020s, I'm going to leave them on for a couple of days to see how I feel. Uh, but, and I'll update you in the comments. How about that? I'll, I'll pin a comment at the top, uh, after about two, three days on, and, and playing a bunch on these. So far, uh, they're, they're not what I hoped they would be. I mean, the, the, to me, the Elixir, Phosphor Bronze, and, uh, 8020s, there's a lot of difference between those strings, to me at least. Um, these, there is some difference, but I almost hear the opposite difference as far as which I, I feel like on Elixir, one is brighter than another, and I feel the same way on the Diodario, except it is reversed, and I won't say which one that I believe it is, but um, Anyway, that's where we're at. I appreciate it, and uh, y'all check them out. We'll put some links in, and subscribe, and take care. Mm -hmm.